Welcome everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to get started with unified observability for Azure in less than 10 minutes using Terraform. After completion, you will have a running Elastic Cloud cluster that has all relevant Azure data collected. Uh, it has also an extended set of dashboards for Azure. We activated all relevant uh, CM detection rules and also prepared the integration to collect the data that, um, well, that your Azure account is creating. It will also install all necessary components within your Azure environment, which means that we have a virtual machine that is uh, running Elastic Agent. We will have an event hub that is um, collecting all the logs within Azure. And we will also use this event hub to collect the data within Elastic Cloud. And finally, we will also collect metric data and billing data using the Elastic Agent we have installed on the virtual machine. The first thing we need to do is to create an Elastic Cloud account. We do this by using the Azure Marketplace via the link elast slash Azure. And we will get to this Marketplace page where we got all the information about Elastic Cloud. Here we click on Get It Now and agree to the terms of Microsoft and click on Continue. It takes a while to get to the sign up page. And then we can create our uh, Elastic Cloud account by clicking on the subscribe button here. Here we need to define a few basic things like uh, which subscription we want to use for the um, connection to the Elastic Cloud account. We need to choose a resource group, something like this one. And we also need to give it a name. Uh, so we, then, we, we will call it um, Terraform Elastic. And then we click on review and create. It will check that everything was um, setting up correctly. And if the validation is successful, we can click uh, the Create button. I cannot click the Create button because I already did that. So I will uh, switch over into Elastic Cloud now. Next thing we need to do is to create an API key. We do this by clicking on the Create API key button. We give it a name, for example, Terraform, and just let the system create an API key for us. We copy this API key and need to um, store it safely for later usage. You can also download the API key so that you have it available in the latest step. The second step is to prepare your Azure account. For that, we need to visit Active Directory in Azure. So here we are in the, Active, uh, in the Azure Active Directory, and we need to create a new application. We do this by clicking on App Registrations and then New Registration. So here we give it a name, for example, uh, Terraform Elastic, and then we just register this um, application. The next thing we need to do is to add a certificate or secret. So we do this here, and here we need to click on new client secret, and we give it a description again, just that you always know what it is about. And uh, you can also give it an expiry date and just add. And now we have a value and a secret ID. We use both for the um, initialization of Terraform. And then Terraform is executing the, um, the different commands on the behalf of this application. Finally, in the third step, we need to run Terraform. We do this by uh, adding the Elastic Cloud API key first, then downloading the Terraform templates from ela.st slash Terraform, we saving the Azure credentials in the config file, and then we running Terraform. So the first thing we need to do is to create an environment variable within our terminal. So for Linux, uh, you just use the terminal is available. Same holds for macOS. On Windows, I use the Windows subsystem for Linux. And here um, I'm just exporting the API key for Elastic Cloud as an environment variable by uh, executing this command. Then you download the uh, examples from the GitHub repository. There's also a bit of explanation on how to get up and running with the project. What you do now is to, uh, for Azure, you go into the multi-cloud directory, create a local env directory and the azure.json file. And here you add your credentials that we just created from your uh, from, from the app registration within Azure Active Directory. What we need to do is to uh, use the Azure Client ID and Azure Client Secret, as well as the Azure Tenant ID and Azure Subscription ID to make sure that we have all the necessary credentials for the uh, Elastic Agent integration. 
Next thing is to start Terraform or to initialize Terraform by navigating to the directory within MultiCloud Terraform. And then we just use Terra Terraform in it and go ahead. Now all the modules will be uh, installed and set it up. Give it a sec. Okay, finally, we need to apply our Terraform plan. We do this by executing this command. So this is including all the config files that are necessary and be targeting the Azure environment. And I'm choosing auto approve to make sure that I don't need to approve the plan again. You might want to not use auto approve because uh, you want to check what the Terraform script is doing first and then approve manually. You will also find this command within the GitHub repository that, so that you didn't, so that you can just copy paste it. Let me execute it. So it uh, takes a while to make this happen. And then we will see that um, Terraform is listing all the plan changes that need to be done and all the tasks that needs to be done. And then it will automatically execute all the scripts. So the plan check has happened. So at this stage, uh, the auto approval happens. On your case, you can uh, choose to um, make the approval now. Now we will see that it's um, doing a lot of things. And we will also see in a second that our elastic cluster uh, gets created. For me, it's uh, now destroying my old test environment and then it will create the new one. So at this stage, we can see that the Elastic deployment will get created. So we see this here. And if we now switch to the Elastic uh, Cloud portal, where we created the, um, the Elastic Cloud API key, we will also see that the cluster is getting created in the latest version and is, everything is getting in that needs to get in. You are now ready with the Terraform script. And if you would like to get access to the outputs, you just need to execute Terraform output minus JSON. And then you get, for example, your password and your Elastic user and also the um, Elastic Kibana endpoint. But uh, the much easier way is to access your deployment via the Elastic Cloud Portal. So uh, you just click here on the freshly created environment then you click um, next to Kibana on open and you get into the Elastic cluster now. And we will access in Kibana here. And now we are on the getting started page. You can get familiar with the system um, or you just uh, have a look into what is happening. So if we, for example, look into the dashboard section, we will see that there are a couple of um, Azure dashboards pre-installed now. Um, for all the different things um, that we might have collected. And you just cast, you can just choose the Azure Overview dashboard here. That will include a couple of metrics that are necessary for you. It can happen that some of the um, visuals will show error messages like this. This is just because uh, the environment is pretty new. And in this case, there was no successful um, school so there was no um, rule trigger that uh, already finds something. So there is just no issue at the moment and there is no risk at the moment. And that's why it is empty. And after it is not empty anymore, we will see some data here. As you can see, we um, have a couple of uh, different subscription collected uh, across all the regions, many different data sources. Uh, you can jump into more detailed dashboards over here. 
And you can just uh, scroll down to get more info about the infrastructure itself, about the storage and about the cost that you are that we are spending here. And for example, we can also click into one of those uh, positions, analyze the costs, and then we get deeper into another dashboard that shows us more about the costs of your Azure environment. And with that, I will say thank you. And I hope you have a lot of success by executing our 10-minute Terraform script. Goodbye.